Hi my loves, in today's video I'm going to show you my daily cleaning routine to make it fast, efficient, and have your whole place deep cleaned and smelling amazing. Also, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new for weekly videos. So starting off, I'm all about setting the vibe and making cleaning much more fun, so I like to put my AirPods in, play some bomb music, something that hypes me up and makes time go by faster. I also sometimes play audiobooks, talk to my friends, anything just to keep my mind entertained while I clean. Next, to make this time efficient, I always start with laundry just because it takes so much time to wash it, dry it, fold it, so definitely throw all your laundry in the washer and dryer while you clean. Next, I like to apply some long, thick cleaning gloves. This helps me so much, not just because of manicures and painting your nails, and you know how sometimes our nail polish changes color with chemicals, but it helps me get more done because I'm not squeamish about what I'm touching. And then I like to go into dishes. I usually squirt about three to four squirts of dishwashing detergent into my sink. I then just wish around that water. It actually helps so much with getting any residue or food off of the plate or sink to begin with then I go ahead with a sponge and just clean out anything off of the dishes and then place it in the dishwasher I find this helps a lot because not only are you making sure everything you're eating and using is very clean but it just helps the dishwasher do its job as well and it doesn't take too long and then after I'm done, I turn the dishwasher on just like I turned the laundry on since those two machines typically take the most time and you can get so much done while you're waiting for that. So remember, to be the most time efficient, step one is laundry, step two is dishwasher, then I go into deep cleaning my place. First with the sink, oh my gosh you guys, I cannot tell you how important it is to clean and scrub your sink, just all that bacteria. And I like to do this with both dishwashing soap, Clorox spray, and bleach, you guys. As you can see, I'm pretty much empty because I do this so much and it really helps get rid of any smells, any residue, any bacteria in your sink. And real quick, if you're watching right now, comment two minute mark in the comment section so I can show you so much love and see who my true subs are. Next up, what I like to do is just go on my counter and get rid of any things, putting everything back into its home and its place. For example, my wallet, my keys, my notebooks, my pens, my purses, everything. Once I put everything back into its place, I then like to pick up any trash that I see laying around. This could be tissues, water bottles, plastic bags, it doesn't matter. I just like to grab that as the next step and put it away. So as you guys can see, when you kind of have a list and order of how to do things, it makes it much less overwhelming and much more time efficient to get little tasks done each time. Now, by the time I was done with dishes and just cleaning up the counters, I am going to get my laundry out of the machine and start to fold. This is also a nice little break because I like to fold my laundry while watching TV. You guys will see I'm a huge multitasker. There is no need just to sit there staring at the laundry. So I like to do it while watching TV and I like to see this as my little break because then it is time to really deep clean and continue our cleaning day. So once the laundry is folded and put away, it is time to get all of our cleaning products out and begin to deep clean. So first with the counters, I like to use the Method spray. I will list everything down below. You'll see some of my cleaning supplies is more organic, some is strong, but this is like my perfect combo. So first up is wiping down the counters. And your girl is super aggressive with this because I like to get my counters squeaky clean. We do not want any residue anything, any bacteria, uh-uh, not in my place. So I like to do this in circular motions with a paper towel. I actually used to use a rag, but I felt like it just absorbed all the dirtiness. So paper towels for me are the way to go. So if you guys are watching this right now, comment 
four minute mark in the comments section so I can see who my true subscribers are and show y'all so 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 much love. So the next hack which my mom actually taught me is to use something called Sheila Shine. I had no idea what this was until my mom told me about it and I'm going to show you guys how that works. Also uh, make sure you always scrub down the soap and the tray that the soap is on and all around the sink. So with the Sheila Shine I like to go in with anything that's metal or chrome including my sink. Uh, you guys will see I do this on my faucet and oh my gosh it makes your place look so squeaky clean. I also use this on my chrome trash can, on my dishwasher. You can use this on the outside of your oven. You'll see I use it on my fridge and what this does is make it look so shiny, so glossy and brand spanking new. Also, you guys, I don't know if it's just me, but I never noticed how dirty my dishwasher and the outside of my fridge was. So once you guys really take a look, you'll realize this needs to be a part of your cleaning routine at least once or twice a week if you want your place to look clean, spotless, beautiful. So definitely schedule these into your cleaning routine. Next, what I like to do is wipe down where I eat. This could be a kitchen table. This could be anywhere, your balcony table but I like to do this with Windex since my table is clear acrylic. And I go ahead with another paper towel, put it in circular motions, and then place everything back on. And this is huge with even dusting any countertops, which I do not show you in this video. You wanna make sure you remove everything, whether it's magazines from your coffee table, lamps on your nightstand, or anything on your shelves. You wanna make sure you remove them all so you can dust and wipe because a lot of dust ends up underneath all those places. So. Now that that's clean, everything is looking beautiful, I am going to light a candle. This really just makes the place come together and smell good and it is such a vibe and there's no better feeling than having a super clean place. Now a few things I didn't show in this video was swiffering down the floors using the Fabuloso and vacuuming. I just didn't want this video to be too, too long. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and comment below what you want to see next if I should do a bedroom cleanup but oh my gosh you guys I miss my old apartment so so much my OGs remember this one from a few months ago but please give this video a big thumbs up if you made it this far and follow me on Instagram at Anita Samantha for a ton of posts my $10 ebook is linked down below how to become a glowing goddess from the inside out and I'll see you every Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern time for a new video Mwah.